Sarah, the first question is, somebody is asking, how can I increase the presence of God? How to carry and increase the presence of God? Become conscious of God. Anyone that is aware of God will walk oh. with the presence of God. Because, you see, we don't call God. God is already present. He's omnipresent. He is everywhere. But you cannot mm. engage with God whom you are not aware that is there. Mm. Just like if I ignore somebody, then that person will not engage with me. So the mm. first cultivation of the presence is that you have to remember. Remember what I said. The spirit is God. So if I am alive, it's because God is with me right now. Wow. So can I start seeing God that is with me? That is what, mm. because whatever you see, an example is this. Whoever you spend more time with, you become more intimate with. The more you're conscious mm. of his presence, the more you are able to make it transition beyond the veil. Mm. So the practice of the presence of God is continual conscious, to be completely aware, conscious, in your conscious mind and subconscious mind that God is with me, God is here. God. Even your prayer will change because you know God is there. If you mm. pray like God is far away, you're not conscious of his presence. If you pray asking God to come, then you're not conscious of his presence. You see, God is not like spirits. The way some babas invoke them, oh spirit, so and so and so, we invoke you, come, come, come. God is not like that. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Uh, 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 that is uh. why Jesus spoke to his father like this. My father, I know you hear me, you have always heard me. That was how he began his prayer. My father, I know you hear me and you, or you have heard me before he even spoke. I'm just praying like this so that they may know that you, you hear me and you have sent me. That was the way Jesus was conscious of his father. He did not think his father was far from him. Why? Because I and my father are one. So if wow. you are going to walk in the presence, you must come to the reality that I, Jesus, and my father and the spirit of God are one. Where I am, they, were, they are also. I must become conscious. If that mind does not come, Philippians chapter 2 verse 4, I believe, says, let this mind also be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. So if the mind of Christ is not in you, notice it is not prayer that gives you a mind. Meditation gives you mind. Prayer does not form thoughts. Meditation forms thoughts. So if I can be conscious of the presence of God, then I'll start walking in the presence of God. Adam and Eve sinned, but Adam was sensitive to God's presence that he heard God walking in the garden. And he went and he hid himself behind fig trees. And God asked, Adam, where are you? Why are you running from me? Notice, God was not stopped by the sins of Adam. It is Adam that ran from God. So sin doesn't stop God from coming to you. Because if God doesn't come to you, how will you be saved from your sin? <laughs> so knowing God is your father and God has embraced you, and nothing can separate you from the love of God, is the beginning of the presence of God.